Hello, Shines, what's up? Officially welcome to Q4. Thanks God we're here. The past few months weren't that bad. We had many of our partners who reached new heights and it's, it's fun to, to see and make kind of the whole work during the year worth it. Um, and yeah, Q4 obviously is going to be even better. Let's jump into it. I, I want to do this video mostly not to flatter ourselves and you, but to, to kind of change your mind uh, in the way you think about what we do uh, to more uh, long-term thinking, especially from Facebook side. Uh, I know Facebook has been Facebook and accounts are, you know, sometimes not last, but the main reason from all our tests is that the creative, the head copy and mostly the text have the, the, the biggest weight on a uh, compliant uh, So I want to give you a few examples and then a few tips on how to do it better. I know it's a bit more work, but eventually it should help everyone uh, run for longer. One sec. Yeah. Cool. So here I want to give you an example of an ad uh, that I know many of you don't manage to do that, and, and I will tell you why. An ad that ran over 30 days now, and I'm showing the 30 days here, really, really good numbers. You can screenshot that, give you a reference. At the end of the day, the CPC is not extremely low and the APC is not extremely high. It's kind of, let's say, an average that you can reach, and those are also benchmarks that you can see. Uh, everyone should be able to do those numbers in terms of EPC. Uh, but then this ad managed to run for that long just because it's completely compliant with Facebook policy. What's Facebook policy? Yeah, okay. Let's not get into it, but in theory, it's completely compliant and, and, and it's managed to pass all the reviews, manual review, whatever. Second time review, if they have it, I have no idea. The ad, the big difference is that the ad contains longer text uh, that doesn't, uh, been in, like, doesn't sh look like a very clickbaity ad. Um, I'm gonna give you an example how you can uh, do it and how you can uh, outreach a Facebook uh, policy by that. Uh, so here are two examples of uh, one of our competitors' ads that they run. What you can see is obviously the text is much longer than what we really do. Then you won't believe or you have to see number what etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's very short, it's very clickbait. You have no idea what's the article about. But what they do is they kind of expose you know more of what's the article about not making clickbait the 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 user know exactly what they're gonna read but they kind of use the 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 images with text inside which is a bit more clickbait -y. but the text inside obviously it's not being scanned by facebook algorithm so this combination is completely compliant long text picture are clear and and again that ad can be can run for facebook and no one can come to you with anything that might wrong to be wrong with, with this ad so yeah it will be harder to get those low cpc and icto when those testing those but again as we repeat all the time it's a numbers game and eventually one of the ad I'm gonna upload a lot of ads and one of them will catch fire and will look like that. Um, and that's what you wanna have. You wanna have those ads running throughout Q4, you know, giving you some quiet uh, and a lot of time of testing, uh, a lot of free time to test more in article, more articles, more variation, more geos, more domains. That's something that is a must. 
Another one a thing that I want to amplify, and those are few tips that they want to give is, is we have this in the partner portal, fan page maintenance. Uh, it's been, uh, we uploaded a few months ago, but it's still super relevant. Uh, and if you, if you cannot do all the steps, at least do part of them, part of those, and hopefully it will ha have your page and business manager and account list uh, last longer. Uh, so those are the steps we're gonna go each one. Verify your business manager and payment method. If possible, you go into your business manager, you do verification, you need to upload um, you know, some papers to show that you're a real company, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but obviously it gives more credibility to your business manager and to your your ad account. So if you can do it, uh, and it's not always open, but if it's open for you, do it. Second, that's pretty um, relatively new. Still not everyone sure how it works, but ideally you want to run one fan page and one domain per account. With that said, we see a lot of people run uh, one fan page with multiple domains uh, without any issues. But again, to be on the safe side, if you can keep each account to one fan page and one domain. Now, regarding a fan page, I'm going to jump to four. If you open a new fan page, it needs to look and be a real fan page. And the real fan page is being pub is publishing every single day uh, stuff on the the wall. You cannot have a fan page that you know have nothing on their wall, uh, on their news feed, and you just run ads. Obviously, it doesn't look good. Uh, it doesn't meet Facebook purpose, uh, you know, given value. And then if you're just running ads, you just want to make money out of the platform, they don't like it. So update the fan page daily, um, you know, once a day, it's the minimum. But then if you can do, if you run it on a high scale, try to jump to three to six posts a day. Um, I know from, from friends as well, three to six posts a day will help you get even organic traffic from Facebook, so it's, it's worth, worth doing it. Uh, invest a bit of time, you can you know, make one day, schedule it for, for the next week, for the next uh, months, and forget about it, uh, daily updates. Moreover, review and reply to user comments. So you have an ad, it's running on a relatively high scale, let's say a few hundred dollars a day. Go every day, if you can, a few times a day, check the comments that you have and reply on every comment. You know, they like it, reply, thanks, thanks for the feedback. They have some complaint, try to, uh, we hear you, uh, thanks for uh, give us this feedback, etc., etc. Try to reply for everything with your fan page. Uh, connect with your user, connect with your community. Uh, it does look better. It does, again, give more credibility uh, to your ads. Moreover, run engagement campaigns. So you can, from the, the updates that you do to your fan page, uh, you should run few engagement campaigns for those as well. Boost posts, again, give facebook that you know that you're trying to build something uh, out of this page um, you can also run it via the ads manager which is really really good because it's kind of it's kind of balancing the ratio between you know ads that are kind of gray on the compliance to a completely white and compliant ads which is you know just daily updates, a meme or whatever that is that is nice to see. Then a lot of people in the industry talk about the ratio between disapproved ads and approved ads, and if this ratio is pretty balanced, you can again be a bit more uh, a bit more aggressive on the the day to day ads once in a while. Fan pages, so it's connecting to the other dots. Again, if you can, 
one fan page per red account. Keep it like that, as many pages you can. Check the quality uh, of the page. Um, you have it in here, sometimes, you know, user complains on the page, etc., etc. That can cause, you know, a lower quality, higher CPM. Um, you know, mark your ads as lower quality, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So those are a few things that you can do and should do uh, in order to kind of um, see more success in in Q4 with your ads. Yeah, it's a bit more work, but if you're gonna do it and you're gonna change your mind to a more long-term thinking, so for the short term it will be harder to find those ads to make it profitable, but for the long term. You will have more quiet, you will be more compliant, you will lose less um, accounts, and hopefully you will make more profit. So I hope it's clear there is a lot, a lot of work uh, to do. Uh, this Q4, things are looking really, really good on our end. Uh, again, October started more, better than September. September started better than uh, August. Uh, so hopefully it will keep on growing like that um, and yeah, let's have some fun.